personnel is often asked about how the near-surface disposal facility will handle rain or snow that could get into the facility when a cell is open and being filled. Good question. Because we are putting a lot of research and design expertise into making sure that the environment and people will be protected, even from the smallest amount of water that could get into the facility. To explain, let's follow one raindrop on its journey through the facility. This is a raindrop's eye view of the near-surface disposal facility. Before the facility starts operations, a water collection system and wastewater treatment plant will be installed. The raindrop falls into the cell as it is being filled and lands on the material inside. This could be building debris, soil, or packaged material such as protective clothing. As the raindrop and others like it go through the material, they could pick up contaminants. The amount of water hitting the waste will be minimized by the use of temporary covers during off hours. As the raindrop falls to the bottom of the cell, it will migrate downward and will collect in the primary liner system. The liner system will prevent water from getting outside the cell. The multi-layer system includes a leachate collection system and leak detection system. The main component is a high-density polyethylene geomembrane. The total thickness is over 2 meters. The water is then collected into the leachate collection pipes. You can see how we designed the cells with a slope to allow water to flow into the pipes. Once in the pipes, the water will be pumped up and out to the perimeter of the facility. Meanwhile, the raindrop, because it came into contact with the waste, will be pumped into one of the equalization tanks before heading to the wastewater treatment plant. When the raindrop enters the wastewater treatment plant, it will enter a process designed to attract and hold contaminants. At this point, the raindrop and all the water that's gone through the wastewater treatment plant will be tested. It won't be released to the Perch Lake watershed if it does not meet criteria for protection of the environment and people. The raindrop will be purified so that the Ottawa River remains completely safe. Water that does not come into contact with the waste will be pumped to one of the stormwater management ponds. But what about after the near surface disposal facility is full and has been sealed? We've sealed it so well that if our raindrop was falling at this time, no outside water will come into contact with the waste inside. The raindrop will not be able to penetrate the cover system and will flow down towards one of the stormwater management ponds. The cover system is a complex series of protective layers that includes topsoil, an intrusion barrier to keep animals out, and a geomembrane the key element, tested to last well beyond the engineered containment mound's design life of 550 years. Altogether, the cover system is over two and a half meters thick. Once closed, the site will be monitored and controlled for more than 300 years when contents will be reduced to near background levels. The care and effort going into the design of the NSDF reflect how CNL puts the environment and people first. <laughs>